Hi friends, welcome to a drop spot. So I believe this should be the last video on Teiko testnet except if something else comes up later. And in this video, I will be showing you how to deploy your own smart contract on Teiko, deploy your own token, and then also interact with them by bridging your tokens between Teiko and Holesky chain. This time we will still be using third web. We used that in a previous video. Okay, so you are going to switch to the contracts tab on third web. And then you are going to tap on deploy contract. So here are a list of all sorts of contracts that you can deploy using third web. And what we are looking for here is ERC20. Choose token ERC20. That is the contract that we want to deploy. So that is it right here. So tap on it. Now tap on deploy now. Now enter the parameters for your contract address. Enter the name, enter the symbol and also enter the description. If you want, you can also upload an image. Now for this part, you have to make sure you are on the Holes Kitchen. Then tap on Deploy Now. So first you are going to confirm your deployment in your wallet. And next, you are going to sign the transaction as well in your wallet. Make sure you, are, you stay on that page. Do not leave so that I can take you to the next page. Then allow this page to load. Now, once you have this page, you are going to tap on token tab. You can see first token minted, then tap on token tab. On the far right, tap on plus mint. What you are trying to do here is you are trying to mint your own token on change. So in the box for supply, indicate the amount of tokens that you would like to mint. So I'm going to type in 1000, then tap on mint tokens. Then confirm the minting in your wallet. Now, once your token is successfully minted, you will see all the details here. You can see the supply, the name and all of that. And then on the buttons above, you can use any of those buttons to interact with the token that you just minted. But what we are going to be doing here is we are going to copy that contract address and then we are going back to Teiko Bridge. In that drop down, tap on it. And then tap on Add Custom. Then paste in the contract address of your newly minted token. And you can see the system has fetched the information of the token. Then tap on Add Token. I have 1000 that I just minted and the symbol is PDA. Then tap on Add Token. Now indicate the amount of PDA that you would like to bridge over to Kitla. So I want to bridge 700 
over to Ketla. Approve it first. Then bridge it over to Ketla. Tap on bridge. Then confirm in your wallet. Now, like we did in the first video of um, Teiko Kitla tutorial, go back to the sidebar menu by the right, and then you are going to choose transactions. So whenever you are bridging anything from Huleski to Kitla, you have to manually claim. So tap on claim. If you are not on Kitla network by then, you will be asked to switch your network. Then tap on claim. Now when the claiming is successful, then your token or NFT or whatever it is you are bridging from Huleski will then arrive on Kitla. So confirm in your wallet. Now the claiming is successful. Now I can easily just go back and then bridge some of those uh, 700 PD that I bridged over to Kitla. I can just bridge it back to Holeski. But instead I want to deploy a smart contract and a token again this time using Kitla. And then after deploying on Kitla then I will go back and now bridge it back to Holeski. I mean instead of doing just bridging I want to deploy on Kitla as well and then bridge back to Holeski. You can see here that I am on the Kitla network so I'll just follow everything I have done already at the beginning of this video. Enter your parameters, your token name, symbol and description. Then tap on deploy. This time my token name is TIP, my token symbol rather is TIP. Then tap on deploy now. So just continue the process like I have done at the beginning of this video. Then I am going back to Teiko Bridge. And this time, Ketla will be my sender chain and my receiver chain will be Huleski. Then tap on that ETH drop down. You can see Ketla as the sender chain. Then tap on that ETH drop down. And then tap on add custom so that we can import this new token to Teiko Bridge. Paste the contract address. Then tap on add token once the system has fetched the detail. So you can say this time the name is TIP, balance is 1000. Tap on add token. Now indicate the amount of TIP that you would like to bridge from Ketla to Holeski. Now remember that Ketla is layer 2 and Holeski is layer 1. So if you want to bridge from layer 2 to layer 1, it can take up to 24 hours. So just once you are, you are done with this, just leave, your, leave the tab and go on with your normal activities. So once the approval is done, I am then going to tap on the bridge button. Now the approval is successful, then I'm going to tap on bridge. And then I'm going to confirm that in my wallet. Tap on confirm. So your transaction has been sent to the blockchain and it is going to take 24 hours like I said earlier for the bridging from layer 2 to layer 1 to be completed. 
So if you have been following our tutorials for the past three days, then you see that we have actually interacted with all aspects of the testnet. We have done swap, we have interacted with pool, we have deployed the token, deployed uh, a smart contract and deployed an NFT and we also interacted with everything that we have deployed. The only thing that we did not do on Teco testnet is running a node. So if you own a PC by all means, please make sure that you do that. Having done everything right now, let's just hope that when it is time for airdrop, their airdrop uh, requirements, their eligibility requirements will favor us, okay? And when take launch on mainnet, also make sure that you do a few interactions on mainnet so that you won't have any angle where you are going to be missing out. So that's all for this video. If you have any questions, drop me a comment in the comment section of this video. If you have found value in any of my content, make sure to give me a like on this video and also subscribe to my channel for more content. Thank you for watching my videos and I'll see you in another tutorial.